Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is December 15th, and that means day 349 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, while browsing around on cults3d.com, I noticed they had a really cool Christmas collection of 3D printable models. And among them was In the Chimney. This is a very cool representation of Santa getting stuck in your chimney. And our print turned out really awesome, and I can't wait to share it with you guys, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 349 of the 3DP 365 project. As I was saying in the introduction, over on cults3d.com, they have an awesome Christmas collection of 3D printable models. Now some of these models you will have to pay for if you're interested in printing them, but there's a lot of really good free ones in there, and among them is In the Chimney. This is a very cool representation of big old fat Santa getting stuck in your chimney, and our print turned out really good. I am super happy with the results. There is a ton of detail on this model too, and my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus did a stellar job on the print. Now we did have a piece of support material fall over during the print. I think it got bumped into, but that's okay. The area with, that it was supporting actually still prints it out. There's a little bit of a hole that's underneath his foot, and you can see it there. There's a little bit of a hole there, but I'm not gonna reprint it. I think it still looks really, really good. This is some of that Matter Hacker Standard Series filament in red. This is the perfect color for the holidays. And my GMAX did a stellar job on the print. There are no blobs, there are no globs, there are no signs of over or under extrusion. Besides that piece of support material falling over, the only other issue, of course, was the wisping that happens all over the model. And I was able to wipe off all that stuff. It doesn't leave a mark at all. And I was able to remove all the support material once the print was done. It was really easy to do. Now I did put some support material underneath the base because it kind of has a funky base to it. If you download this model, you will have to lower it into the print bed to get a perfectly flat surface because since it's a piece of actually sculpted art, there are some areas at the bottom that kind of, they're just kind of messed up. So my advice would be to lower it into the print bed about 1.5 millimeters to take away some of that problem area in the bottom. Now you will be left with a little bit of a space at the bottom. And I generated some support material just to fill that area up and I'm not gonna remove it. I just, it was a good idea and I thought I would just fill it up so at least it has a perfectly flat base. But the rest of the print turned out really, really good. Like I said, we, mo we downloaded this model from colts3d.com and once we had it downloaded, we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, I scaled this up to 150%. I used a 0.16 millimeter layer height with four top layers, three bottom layers, and three perimeters, and 15% infill. We also printed this out at 35 millimeters per second, and like I said, I did generate some custom support material because there are some air prints within the model, and you definitely need to generate support material or you'll have a major print fail. The areas in particular are underneath the little pom-pom on his hat, and of course, the foot there, and there's a little area in the back here underneath his head that's a bit of an air print, and I jammed some support material in there, but it broke away clean because the support material system within Simplify 3D version 4.0 is very, very good. It never leaves really a whole lot of scarring and it's super easy to remove. And like I said, the print itself, it turned out awesome. There is a ton of detail on him. He's got a cute little face. His feet are up in the air because he really is stuck in the chimney. There's a little bit of snow on the top of the chimney too. So if I hand this off to my wife for finishing, she'll definitely make this look cool. And I was gonna scale this up to about 350%, which would have made a much larger Santa but that of course would have been more than a 40 hour print. So I thought 150% scale was good because to bring out all the detail on the model. And plus I wanted mine to be a little bit bigger. At 100%, it's only about this big. And I think it was only like a two hour print, but I wanted to really show off all the detail. And of course my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus never has a problem printing. So I knew there wouldn't be an issue with retraction and all the different areas of this model that were a little bit precarious for the print. But like I said, it really turned out awesome. I am super happy with the results. This is a very, very cool model. This will go together really nice with those single extruder wrapped gifts that we printed the other day, and you can watch that video here. And it'll make a really cool tabletop display. And I really love this because it really is kind of funny that Santa got his big fat butt stuck in the chimney. And this really celebrates the holidays in a very funny way. Well, that about wraps it up for day 349 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative, and if you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out those affiliate links down in the description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, 
comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.